diagnosing the health of your social media strategy. I'm trying to go back on Chrome today. Chrome has been very glitchy for me recently, so I hope this video takes hold and you guys can hear everything because this is really important and I want you guys to really think about your social media strategy today. So how do you go about diagnosing the health of your social media strategy? Well, there's a few things to take into consideration. First of all, I know I usually start with talking about how to niche down, know your ideal client and all of that, but but if you think you've done that, but you're not getting the, back what you should be getting back from your social media strategy, you probably need to revisit that. So that's what I want to start out by saying, because most of you guys are not niched down enough and are not speaking directly to the ideal client that you want to attract to your business. So what I wanted to talk about today was uh, diagnosing the health of your social media strategy. There's a couple things that you really need to pay attention to. So I wanted to talk about them today. The first one is engagement. Well, of course. So as you're posting on social media, one of the main things that you're going to notice is if your post is engaging or not. So if your post is not engaging people, that is because the post isn't speaking directly to your ideal clients. It's not speaking directly to your audience and you're not hitting those key things that are important to them. So you want to take note uh, when you're posting on social media, you want to really dig into the insights and analytics and look and see which posts do well, which posts don't do well. I can't tell you how many small business owners I speak with that don't ever look at their insights and analytics. I cannot begin to tell you how important they are in understanding what is going on with your social media. So if you dig into your insights, you will see that um, you will see how many people you're reaching and how many people are engaging and how many people are commenting. All of those things are important. But the other thing to look at is how many people, not only that, but how many people are actually coming to your page. So you're going to look at new page views, new page likes, new people that, um, join your group or visit your website from your social media. Okay. So those are a lot of the, the key indicators that will help you understand if your social strategy is working at this time. So what do you do if it's not? If it's not, like I said, I would suggest that you really study the posts that are working and try to understand what it is about those posts that's attractive to your ideal client that's resonating specifically with that client and making them actually interact and engage with your post. So do they have things in common? Are they about a specific subject matter? Um, are they written in a specific way? What language are you using? Those are just some of the things that you can look at to understand exactly why some posts are doing better than others. Then what you want to do is create more of the same. You don't want to create posts that are not resonating with your ideal client because it just doesn't make any sense. You want to create, some, create more of what they want. So it's an indication of what they want from you. You can also create polls and ask them what it is they want to see more of from you. Okay, so the second thing, and I'm talking about three different, three different ways to diagnose the health of your social strategy, and one is engagement. And I just went over some of the things to look for with engagement. I don't want this to be a long post today. So, um... This, I want to jump right into the second one, which is conversions. So conversions, what does that mean? Okay, so a conversion is any time you ask them to do something and they do it. So it can be you ask them to check out, you know, go to your landing page. So you want to evaluate 
how many people went to your landing page. Then from the landing page, you want to evaluate how many people are actually clicking through to either get grab your freebie or buy your thing. Okay, so not everybody that goes to your landing page is going to buy your product or service or download your freebie, and that's okay. But you, what you want to pay attention to is the um, is how far apart the people who visit your landing page are as opposed to how many actually take the action because that can indicate that there is a problem with the landing page itself. If you have if a lot of people going over to the landing page and hardly anybody is downloading your product, your freebie, or buying your product or service, that indicates that there's a problem with the landing page. So these are just things to pay attention to in your marketing on social media. The conversions, and like I said, a conversion is not always buying something. Sometimes, sometimes the conversion is simply you're asking them to join your group, or you're asking them to like your um, Instagram, or you're asking them to view a your stories. So it it can a conversion can be you're sending them somewhere else and you're asking them to do something and they're actually doing it. So those are the measures that you want to pay attention to. How many people are looking at the post? How many people have seen it? And how many people take that action? And then, like I said, if you're directing them to a landing page, you want to pay attention as to how many people actually take the action that you ask them to do from the landing page. Because then if a lot of people go to the landing page but aren't taking the action you're asking them to there, then it's a problem with the landing page, not the post itself. So pay attention to those things. So the third, the third indicator that will help you diagnose the health of your social media strategy is growth. Are you growing? It's pretty simple. Are people coming to your page? Are people inboxing you and asking you things? Are people uh, actually going to your website and converting? Are, is your group growing if that's something that you're promoting? Um, you, so growth is one of the key indicators that will tell you if your social media strategy is working. So those are the three things that I wanted to go over today. There's so much more that you can use to determine whether your social media strategy is working, but I wanted to touch on those three things today because number one, they're simple, and, and number two, every one of you can actually go and evaluate these things yourself. So I wanted to help you out with some quick solutions to what may be an issue for you, which is the health of your social media strategy. So those are three things that you personally can check out on your own to see whether you need help in those areas. And if you do need help in those areas, reach out because I can definitely help you get them improved, much improved in many cases. So let me go over those three things once again. Number one, the, one, the first way in diagnosing the health of your social media strategy is engagement. So you want to check out the engagement. And engagement can be many things. It can be likes. It can be um, you want the comments. If you can get the comments, it can be clicking through to something. That's an, All of that is under engagement. Okay, number two is conversions, and conversions means that you are actually, they are actually taking action and doing what it is that you are asking them to do. So that would be downloading that freebie, that would be um, signing up for a program or signing up for a webinar, anything that you're putting out there, that is a conversion. You're asking them to do something and they are doing it. So you want to pay attention to the number of people that click through and the number of people that actually opt for whatever it is that you're doing. So if they're clicking through for a webinar and they get to the webinar page and they look at it and they're like, oh God, I don't want to do this. If a lot of if you're losing a lot of people there, it's something that has to do with the landing page. So you need to know where the, the breakdown is in your social strategy. The third thing is growth. Are you growing? Is your business growing? Is your is your page growing? Is your 
group growing? Are people connecting with you on other social platforms? So if, if you're not growing, there's something that's not quite right about your social media strategy and you need to fix it because if you if you are not growing that indicates that people are not seeing you as the expert that you know that you are so you need to revisit who your ideal client is how to speak with them and how to get them to truly see you as the expert in your field all of those things I can help you with so reach out if you are struggling I hope this was helpful. If you did find this helpful today, please share it out because I want you to understand that you can help your social media strategy just by looking at those three things and doing a few little changes that will help you immensely. So that is what I have for you today. This is Lisa Balthaser with Fleur de Lisa Solutions. And like I said, if you're struggling or if you need help in any of those areas or would just like to see how I could help you, please please schedule a call. I would love to talk to you. I would love to learn about your business. That's what I have for you today. I hope you found this helpful. And like I said, share it out. You have a great day and let's get social.